Heavy rains have battered Croatia yesterday and overnight, causing serious problems in many towns and cities across the country. Karlovac reported most rainfall overnight and Bielovar, Varaždin and Otočac are also drenched. A state of emergency was declared in Karlovac, with the sirens wailing at nine this morning, warning the residents of the danger. Residents living outside Karlovac along the Kupa and Korona rivers were given the option of being evacuated if they wished to leave the area. Flood warnings have also been put out in Hrvatska Kostajnica on the Una River, where the road linking Kostajnica and Dvor has been closed off and motorists are using a detour. Dubrovnik was also flooded yesterday, with the ancient walled town's main roads and even the main street Stradon being flooded, while nearby in Župa Dubrovačka the residents were evacuated. Due to the heavy rains, drinking water in Dubrovnik is at the moment not fit for consumption. In other stories, the Justice Minister Orsat Milenic has filed criminal charges against unknown perpetrators in a bid to shed light on the claims made by the President of the Zagreb County Court Ivan Turudic, who in mid-August told the media he had been placed under illegal surveillance and his phones tapped. The Justice Minister has explained his moves by saying that he has filed the charges in order to protect Turudic and the dignity of the judiciary, adding that if the claims were true, a serious criminal act had been committed. The railway services between Zagreb and Split have been stopped due to Thursday's accident when a train engine derailed due to rocks on the railway tracks near Kashtali. Heavy machinery is to be deployed today in an effort to remove the engine. The efforts are being further hampered by heavy rain. The Jankovic country house in Kapela Dvor is just a month away from regaining its former beauty. For decades it's been decaying, but the Drava for Enjoy EU-funded project aimed at experiencing and enjoying the area by the river is to give it a new lease of life. The beautiful country house is to become the first education and cycle tourism centre in the Virovitica and Podravina county, and this is part of the plan to kickstart the local tourism that also includes the building of bicycle routes in the area. And in sports, in Amsterdam, Croatia is playing the Netherlands in the Davis Cup, where last night Marta Delic upset Igor Sisling in four sets, securing the first point for Croatia. However, Robin Haas beat Borna Choric in three sets later, equalising the score. The pairs are to take to the court this afternoon. And turning to the weather, partly sunny afternoon with scattered rain showers and some lingering rain in places with most of the wetness expected at high elevations in some sections of the southern Adriatic and in the eastern parts of the country. Winds light. Light to moderate northwesterly winds along the coast, turning to strong in the open, visibility good. Afternoon temperatures to hover between 15 and 20 degrees inland and up to 25 along the coast and in the east. The next three days are to see a mix of rain showers and lingering rain, particularly at higher elevations. Mornings to be foggy, but it is to gradually become warmer. Changeably cloudy along the coast, particularly in its northern sections where showers are possible. More sunny and warm weather expected at the start of next week.